up guys, I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Now we just did a rear brake fix on this ZJ. We did a parking brake fix and we put on new pads and rotors for the General Grievous ZJ. So of course, now we're gonna pop on the front brakes in this video and most importantly, we're gonna do a proper break in for this ZJ. We're gonna make sure that the brakes are worn in just right so they don't get any warping and wobbling. So here we go, I'm gonna pop these on, we'll get to it. Right, guys we got the rotor off and this isn't terrible it's actually pretty smooth nice surface and it's not even that old there's no real gouge or groove in this part not like the rear ones those are awful you could definitely tell that all the stopping power was coming from the front and over here these brake pads are fairly new too so these aren't that bad uh, I'm gonna try to find another boot in my stash I'd like to replace that maybe we'll lube up these pins this time it's uh, pretty free, not as free as the rears were, but uh, we'll address this and we'll pop in these new pads and this should be good to go. We got our little caliper pin sliders. We got our boots. Here is the damaged one. <laughs> Looks like it was just punched through the side. Nice. And check it out, guys. I was able to find an extra one in my stash. And even better, I found the little stoppers that plug up that hole for the park brake adjustment. So this way crud won't get in it. So this is awesome. Huge score. All right, let's clean this up. And here we go guys, brake grease. We'll get some good stuff up in this thing. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and wipe off some of this excess grease so the clean freaks don't freak out. <laughs> oh, good guys. I know, we don't want to attract any unnecessary dirt or brake dust. Yes. And of course, we don't want to get anything on our pads. So, wipe this down. All right, let's clip on our pads. There we go. Easy peasy. Set this up here. Hit the pads with a little brake clean for good measure. Brake clean on the rotors. Fresh paper towel. And just gonna pop a little anti-seize on the hub keep everything from sticking on there. All right, set our caliper into place. Make sure we don't pinch those pins in there. Gonna slide in our greased up pins. We'll get this caliper mounted. All right, one last spritz of brake clean for good measure. We'll get this wheel on. Thank you. 
And no matter what kind of vehicle you have, it's always recommended to hand thread your lug nuts on before you send them home with an impact. This way you will avoid stripping these. You don't want to strip these. That's bad news. There we go guys, there we have it. Beautiful front brakes, we got beautiful rear brakes from yesterday, and of course we did the parking brake shoes, so everything is nice and tight. We will have a good stopping power with uh, these power stop brakes. <laughs> so, all right, looking good. Uh, hey guys, check this out. When we compressed the front calipers, we had some brake fluid spillage, kind of just dripped out over the top. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cap this up and we are gonna pump the brake pedal. We're gonna depress the cylinders so the calipers can squeeze onto the brake pads a little bit and then we'll top this off a little bit as needed. All right. Oh yeah, <laughs> that pedal is squishy. All right, so we're gonna pump this thing a few times. Let the pedal firm up a little bit. We'll go ahead and check the level of brake fluid once again. You can see that the level did go down significantly, so we're gonna add a little bit more fluid. And I always buy brake fluid in these little jugs because, well, brake fluid is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs water. So if you have opened one of these bottles and it's been sitting on the shelf, it will absorb the moisture in the air and this stuff will go bad. So I try to use fresh bottles as much as I can. I don't want this stuff sitting around too long on the shelf. So yeah, that's more than enough. Didn't take that much. All right, everything should be good now, so we'll go ahead and give this thing a test drive. All right, guys, here we go. We got zero miles on these new brake pads and new rotors, four all around. And what we got to do immediately is break in these pads and rotors. So uh, there is a break in process, especially for performance brakes or these uh, power stop brakes, you have to break them in. So for these brakes, what we're going to do is we're going to drive to 40 miles per hour and then we're going to do some moderate to heavy braking to slow it down to 10 miles an hour. We're going to do that five times in rapid succession. This is going to heat up the brakes and it's going to deposit a nice even coat of braking material on the rotors and pads. This way, you won't get um, uh, a buildup of material. Like, let's say you, you brake hard and then you hold the brakes uh, steady at a red light. If you do that, you're gonna deposit like a clump of braking material. And then every time you brake after that, you will have a juddering or a stuttering sensation. You'll feel like your brakes are warped. So you gotta do this immediately, brake them in right. So we're gonna do uh, 40 to five, four, I'm sorry, 40 to 10 miles per hour. Then after that, we're gonna do 35 miles an hour down to five miles an hour, a little softer braking. And then we're gonna give this thing a chance to cool. We're gonna drive it under normal circumstances. And uh, yeah, then the brake should be broken. <laughs> broken in. So all right, here we go. We are gonna do uh, 40 miles per hour, then slow down to five, nope, sorry, 10. Uh, as soon as I turn around, I'll use that open field area. So here we go, swinging around. And thus begins our break-in. Forty... Ten. It's very important you don't want to stop. Don't stop completely. So find a place that doesn't have any red lights.
All right, now we're gonna go to 35, down to five, less aggressive braking. So we got a stop sign with some cars coming and uh, we're just gonna feather the brakes. We're not gonna stop completely. Do not wanna imprint the brakes with a hard stop, not just yet. I think that should do it for our braking procedure. Everything feels great. Um, we got no warping, no wobbling, no squeaking. So far, so good. Pedal feels nice and tight. It brakes nice and straight. It accelerates straight, so we got no rubbing. It's great. Um, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna drive around and let these brake pads cool down now. And we should be good to go. All right, guys, there we have it. That was a successful braking process. Everything drives really nice. We got some nice coloration on these rotors. You can see the material has been transferred. That is a successful bedding process. Now, it is normal for these things to get really hot. They might smell and they may even smoke, but that's just normal. They're gonna be really hot, so make sure you drive normally afterwards. Let them cool down, maybe even just rest up a bit park it for a while. And one other important thing, guys, if you have a driving behavior tracker for your insurance discount, make sure you unplug this thing because when you do some acceleration and hard stops, they can tell and they will bang you on your insurance. So make sure you pop this out before you do your braking procedure. So that's it, guys. Everything went really well and I'm very happy with these brakes. For this project, I use some gloves, I use a little bit of brake fluid, some anti-seize, some brake grease, brake parts cleaner, of course, more than one is always recommended. I used a C-clamp, hammer, good old screwdriver. For my front brakes, I needed a 10 millimeter. Um, a lot of them are 13 millimeter, so grab one of those just in case. A jack, of course, and obviously, I got a set of brake rotors. They come one in a box and a set of brake pads to get both sides in one box. And as always, you can check the description for links to all these products. Well, all right guys, that is gonna do it for my ZJ brake videos. We got the fronts done today. Go back and check out the rear brakes if you haven't seen it. Also did the parking brake. And uh, that's a wrap guys. Everything is running nice and smooth. I'll report back to you at another time if I find any issues or I'll just let you know how it's going. Uh, it's really nice to have a Jeep that has new brakes. I love it. So that's it guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I will see you in the next project. Peace. I almost forgot my adjustment covers again. Oh boy. There we go. One. And two. Okay.